Okay, on the board we have a right triangle. It has sides of 6, 8, and 10. The two sides that make up the right angle, the 6 and the 8, are called the legs of the right triangle. Every right triangle has two of them, and they're the sides that make the right angle. Across from the right angle, opposite it is the formal word, is always the hypotenuse. I'm going to abbreviate hypotenuse, HYP here. We're going to be studying trigonometry. And as we study trigonometry, there are three fractions that are going to be important to us, three ratios. Those ratios are called sine, which we're going to abbreviate SIN, cosine, COS, and tangent, TAN. You'll find sine, cos, and tan keys on your calculator. Okay, the sine of an angle, and I'm going to do this in terms of angle A for right now. The sine of angle A. is defined to be the length of the side opposite angle A. In fact, the leg opposite angle A, so the opposite, OPP for opposite, leg, divided by the hypotenuse. So, again, sine is just a fraction. So, the sine of angle A. Now, if I'm up at angle A, hypotenuse doesn't change no matter where I am. But across from angle A, opposite it, we will find the opposite leg. So if you're at angle A, 8 is the opposite leg. So I'm going to write 8 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 10. So we've just done our first trigonometric ratio. The sine of angle A is 8 over 10. Now we could convert that to a decimal, 0.8 if we want to. But for now, we're just going to leave it. Okay, our next trigonometric ratio is called cosine. Abbreviated COS, the cosine of an angle, in this case A, is defined to be the length of the adjacent leg, the one next to it, not the opposite, but the one next to it, and our word for next to it is adjacent. Adjacent leg, again, divided by hypotenuse. So I'm going to write ADJ leg over hypotenuse is always going to be cosine. And that's going to be, in this case, 6 over 10. Okay, we could make that 0.6, but 6 over 10 is plenty good for our purposes right now. We've got a third trigonometric ratio, and it's the only one that doesn't use hypotenuse. So if you're working on a problem and you don't know the hypotenuse or even want to know it, but you either know or want to know the other two legs and you've got some angle, you're going to probably use this ratio. It's called tangent. The tangent of an angle, in this case, again, angle A, is equal to the length of the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Opposite leg over adjacent leg, which in this case would be opposite 8, adjacent 6, 8 over 6. Now again, hypotenuse will never change in any of these problems, so it's where you want to start. What will change from problem to problem is which leg will be the opposite. So let's redo those three ratios looking this time at angle C being our angle, as opposed to angle A. Notice that hypotenuse never changes. Well, since hypotenuse doesn't change, the only thing that will change is if I'm down here at angle C is what's opposite and adjacent. If I'm at C, opposite is the 6. It's the one across the triangle. The other side, the, over here will be adjacent this time. So this is the opposite leg. When you position yourself at angle C, 8 now is the adjacent leg. So I'm going to redo without quite as many notes the sine, cosine, and tangent. The sine 
of angle C, again, same definition, opposite leg over hypotenuse, but opposite has switched to a 6, so we get 6 over 10. The cosine of angle C. Well, cosine, again, same definition, it's adjacent over hypotenuse, but this time adjacent is the 8, hypotenuse is the 10. And finally, the tangent of angle C. Well, it's still opposite leg over adjacent leg, but this time the opposite leg and adjacent leg is switched. Opposite is 6, and adjacent is 8. So trigonometry, so far for us, is just fractions. It's ratios of sides of a right triangle.